Hello, Alejandro. I'm waiting for you to turn on your audio so you can introduce yourself. Alejandro, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Alejandro. Uh, I am a project manager for Future for Care. It's a healthcare accelerator. Uh, we we accelerate different uh, different startup in the in France uh, yeah. and in Europe. Nice. Thank you for being here. Uh, there are uh, there are a lot of startups in healthcare right now. That's for sure. Thank you also for this opportunity, and uh, I hope to to be here frequently because. Uh, uh, I, I I was in the different uh, meetings, but uh, it it it's no constantly. Okay. Um. So, do you have a Linux Foundation ID? Sorry. Do you have a Linux Foundation identification? Do you, do you are you logged in? Logged into Hyperledger? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, then do you want to claim the host role? So you, or do you want to, um, to go to the wiki page? Okay, I, I was, uh, I'm... Did, did you get it? Did you get an email for this group? Yeah, it's uh, I receive uh, each email for uh, for each meeting. Okay, and, would you uh, like to go to your email right now and click on the view event button? Okay. And then put in your uh, Linux Foundation ID, your LFID. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. I just tried doing it three times and with two different email addresses. Oh, here we go. I'm getting a link now. Your profile is missing a photo. It wants my photo. <laughs> you do not have a password set for your account. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what it's saying for me. So I'm uh, that's why I'm going in here and it's, it's uh, asking me to log in. And then we can go to the page that tells us what is on the schedule for today. So Ray Dogum uh, set this up and he didn't, he didn't give us the, um, so let's go to the calendar. He didn't give us the link to the wiki page for us to do the notes on. Okay, so I'm just going to try going to. Ah. Okay, uh, I'm uh, I'm logged 
so Okay. If you just say Okay, go back to Zoom, share my screen. Back to, do you see my screen? Alejandro. Sorry, I, I, I see your screen. Okay, so I, I was able to get in. So there should be an agenda on here somewhere. Here, see this patient subgroup? This is coming yeah. up on Monday, uh, starts at 7 a.m. Um, it's, uh, that's the one that I'm working on. Uh, I should tell you, well, I can update that page later on. The patient subgroup is working on a very interesting project. It's a, um, <laughs> I call it the polluter payer healthcare model, <laughs> where um, it, it's the polluter that pays for the damages caused by the pollution. Have, as you know, about 8 million people are, are killed every year by pollution globally. Okay. And, and those deaths could be um, prevented if, if everybody got all the healthcare they needed. But the healthcare does cost money because the kind of healthcare they would need is preventive, which a lot of people don't get because they can't afford it. And so those people would be able to just go to um, this app and donate their health data. And you know, this is my before, and then go into like a clinical trial and then get the, the healthcare they need. And then after they would donate their after data and then is um, then they would get paid uh, okay. for having, if, you know, for any, uh, especially if they were to make some kind of an improvement. So if, if they were to save a rainforest or clean the plastics on the beach, they could do a before and after photo. And then they would be able to um, get paid for clean, cleaning the environment. In other words, they would, they would get carbon credit for environmental credit for cleaning the environment, and then um, that would pay for their all of their healthcare. Okay, you so, are ad, you are admin admin of uh, the this group or? I'm, well, yes, sort of. I'm I'm uh, the one who's been running it for the past few months because um, the guy who was running it for the past few years just stopped coming, so he he gave me the password to take that group over. Okay. So, I mean, I could go to the patients of group right here. Okay, patients. So, uh, okay, but then I just go back because there's more on this. Then mm -hmm. the pay, uh, the patient subgroup. Um, I don't. I yeah, you know, I go there and we just talk. We just chat. We talk about clinical trials and whatever we want to talk about. The interoperability subgroup, as far as I know, it doesn't ever go, it doesn't ever meet anymore. Okay. Um, it's not, it's no longer on the calendar. Ongoing work, external resources, membership directory. 
Here we go, 2023 meeting agenda notes updated June 7th. Okay, oh, I was there. Space contributors 15 days ago. Hmm. Um, Anna Suya, she goes, she comes to the payer, payer subgroup meetings. Oh, look, see, I'm on payer subgroup. <laughs> This is interesting. I like this uh, the wiki page. I can change this wiki page. And uh, meeting agenda notes, we could click on that for fun. Um, six, seven general meeting agenda notes. Okay. Well, let's see. We're supposed to be able to add a meeting. We can add a meeting. But I think what I'm going to do is go back to my mail. Um, is there an add meeting here? Edit. Uh, okay, you should be able to add the meeting. Hmm. Uh, where, where does it say add meeting? Well, let's just go to the, um, where's my Gmail? And our Gmail, and I go look into a search for leisure, healthcare. Um, we it's just hyperledger healthcare. Yeah, and then we'll see group notification for June twenty first. That's today. Oh, there's a SIG meeting on February 15th. 15th. <laughs> In-depth webinar, red date. Ah, oh, with red date, June 21st. Okay. What is red date? Do you know? No, I don't know. 1 o'clock p.m. CST, 7 a.m. ET. Oh, well, that's over. 5 a.m. my time. Mm -hmm. Monday, June 12th, that's a payer subgroup, okay. And Wednesday, June 7th. Hmm. Well, let's just see what was gonna happen on Wednesday, June 7th. Oh, uh, see, there's no um, see, view event. Oh, look at this. So what is this called? This is the health, healthcare SIG calendar. June 7th, June 12th, June 19th, June 21st, that's today. This is just the calendar, but it doesn't give you the, the list of things that he was gonna talk about today. Does it? Hmm. Nope. That event has been deleted. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look. Okay. <laughs> that event has been deleted. Okay. What about this one? <laughs> that event has been deleted. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to blast you. What about this one? That event has been deleted. What about today's? That event has been deleted. Oh no. What about next week? <laughs> I think there's an error on this page somewhere. Okay, sorry. Um patient subgroup meeting, payer subgroup, payer subgroup. Wait, this might be it. On one of these, there was a link. And you were able to go to the link and it said what all was going to happen. Oh, this is a calendar? <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. We have a file that I cannot open. Um, thanks. There's nothing on here about, well, let's try view event on this one. 
same, same thing. Uh, did you talk with Ray Dugumi? No, I haven't spoken with him in about four weeks, I think it was. Project Health Care Invite, this is the same thing. Um, one of these had, I did get it, I got something from him two weeks ago, let's see, on the 7th. Okay, yeah, I wanted to go to the meeting on the 7th, but something came up, but I did get, it said something about what was going to be happening there. Yeah, well, that isn't working. So let's try going back to healthcare. See, what I'm doing, what we do during these meetings is we can come in here and just change this through at the meeting while the meeting is happening. And there's usually a link that says, um, start a, a new meeting um, report or something like that. Do you see a link on here? Yes. To start a new. Hmm. Well, I think the pay payer subgroup has one. Oh, go to link. Thank you. Try a meeting index and summary. Create meeting note. <laughs> okay, that's fun. So um, <clears throat> turn my phone sideways. Create. Today is June 24th. First, it's asking me to um, set a meeting for today. Actually, the date that we had that meeting was on the 12th. But you see, there should be a way to do this on the uh, on the other page. But this is how you do it, though. So you can change this to 612. Right? Ah, isn't this nice? I'm actually changing a page on the Hyperledger. Oh, let me change this. But maybe it'll change. Okay, um, add a person add it, and they'll be notified. So these are the attendees. So the notes for that, they were 612, um, Sarah Crawford, she, um, I put her name down here, she, she will, supposed to put the at sign first, right? And then put Sarah Crawford. Okay, and then so she'll be notified. And then I can do another one, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Why did it disappear? Don't worry. 
<laughs> oh, no. Okay. Okay, then the third one, you have to do that. Let's see if there's anybody else here who's um, Amali. Okay, she's interesting here. Marcella. Um, copy. Paste. I don't think she's a member. Next. Oh, thank you. How do you do this? <clears throat> well, maybe it'll disappear me too. Oh, great. There you go. Paste. So you got to put it on your own name and then you've got to do that. And then there was um, someone else who showed up too, but uh, Anasuya. And she definitely is a, um, a, a member. So um, you put the pound sign first or you just put their name? Because it didn't do the pound sign for Sarah. Oh, Sarah Crawford isn't a member. Mm -hmm. okay. So she's a member, so it should notify her. Those objectives. Um, develop a way to identify the parties responsible for injury or illness. This is our goal for next week. <laughs> um, okay. And then what did each person do? Oh, shoot. I should have kept the thing. Agenda item, name. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. Go back. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go back and copy their names again. So what I should have done. <clears throat> okay. Copy. Next. Paste. Green. Agenda item, well, it wasn't really on the agenda item. Okay, and then what? Um, then how do you get the next agent, the next one over? At have you add one? <clears throat> add, oh, there you go. See the little thing in the corner? Add, invite people to edit. There you go, so I could invite you. Let's work together on this page. Would you like to do that? Yeah. It's, it's the wrong one. Oh, here you go. Click on this. Oh, what? Um, do you see a way to add somebody else? Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, I got that far, right? <laughs> Great. Type your task here to assign a user and select a date. Okay, and then I uh, was able to change is saved and then I could publish. There you go, see, that's how you change it. So now I should be able to go and do this for the other one. But I'm gonna show you what, we, what some of the people are doing. It's, it was a lot of fun. So Amy Marcella works on this project, One Billion Two Web Three Initiative. And here is her play. Hmm. Okay, so here is her website. Let's turn this over. So it looks like she has a, a, a metaverse. And I guess you're supposed to go in and zoom. Why well, it's important to learn Web3. Okay. We can go back to um, Anasuya is um, founder and director of Bini World Innovations. She had a um, 
project that she published at, I wonder if you could find that. Is there a way to search? Search for Benny World, B I N I W O L. See if she has a wiki page. <clears throat> Send search results. Build your healthcare. Ah, see, then she shows up. Um. Meeting notes. So she's on the meeting notes for with me. Then here's her optimized F. Uh, here's her project. Library of Learning program. Let's see what she's got. A Byzantine fault tolerance consensus library for high ledger fabric, which provides end end security. High throughput with low latency and high scalability. So she <clears throat> Wow. They have a publication. Welcome. So, um, Byzantine consensus starts off with three people. Mm -hmm. They propose. Do you see the? Um, yeah. you see the chart in the middle. Okay, they propose, and then they write to each other, and then they accept from each other, and then the smart contract is executed. So this is, it looks like this is sending messages. And then there's a decision, the decided queue, where the output of all the messages are. And as you know, with Byzantine fault tolerance, all three parties know a secret that only one of the other parties know. And once all their secrets are, once all their secrets are exchanged, and then they're then they're sure that they are who they are. Everybody knows who everybody else is, and then they can make that. Um, they can use their public key to sign the the contract, and then the contract is as executed. So that's why it's so. It, you don't have to just trust because nowadays you can you can sell your wallet, your whole wallet, to somebody else. So you need, if you think you know somebody's wallet address, it it might no longer be their wallet address. So that's why this is really important. And uh, could you send me the link? Okay. Well, if you go to the wiki page, it's uh, you can search I, for it. Um, but let me put this in the chat. Copy. Go to. Okay. Well, now um, it just so happens to be that uh, my Zoom. Is over here. Okay. okay, it's in the chat. Thank you. That's the paper that they wrote. That's it's really fascinating. I think she's brilliant.
So she's um, she's trying to, Hyperledger has a, a mentorship program and she's trying to, um, she's, she's trying to get mentees to help her work on this project. Um, and Vinnie World, as you, you, you have a company, right? What was the name of your company again? Uh, it's for care. Can you put a link in the chat to that, please? Yeah, but it's a... Uh... Located in France. And maybe would you like to share your screen and that talk a little bit about that project? Stop share. So now you can share your screen. Do you, do you what do you want to see? Would you like to share your screen so you can see more about your project? Because you didn't put a link in the chat. You just put the website address. So I can't click on it because it isn't a link. It has to have the HTTP ahead in front of it. Okay. Okay, I, I send you the link. Okay. Thank you. So, all I have to do is go over here and close this and share screen. I'm waiting for it to load. How many people are you working with right now on that? Or is it your sole proprietorship? Okay, we, we have uh, almost uh, 40 startups in, uh, in our building and uh, the team we work with, we, I work with uh, 10, 15, 15 um, per person who are, uh, who are in the team and uh, we we help other startups to grow and to to meet a new new people who want to who would like to invest in this startup um, we we have a, a startup that work with blockchain and uh, basically I, I work here with the different IT projects and uh, we help 
the other startup startup to, to grow. Nice. What kind of help do you give them besides a place to do work? Uh, uh, I guess I call it an office, a bureau. Sorry? What do you give them besides an, uh, le bureau, their office space? Uh, in Paris. Okay, and do you give them technical assistance as well? Uh, technical projects, do you, do you help them code? Do you, do you find people to code the projects for them? Yeah. We have other startups to grow. Uh, our founders are uh, for big uh, companies, Sanofi, Orange, uh, Generali, um, <clears throat> that help, help uh, us with the uh, different connections uh, around the world uh, to, to get investment for other startups and to, to expand the, the work for, for a day. And basically we have, uh, we have the startups with, uh, with the all facilities, um, facilities in, uh, in the building and also with uh, another connections, experts and the different projects that can help, help this uh, startup to, to grow. Nice. Where where are you located? I'm in California. California, okay. Are they all tech, high tech companies? Yes. So do they all um, have uh, technical co-founders or do they share te technical um, talent? Each uh, founders or partner partnership have uh, their, their experts that, that could uh, come to our building to, to help uh, other startups and uh, offer their experiences and uh, maybe meet uh, or make a different relationships with uh, with another companies. Okay. So nice. YouTube is disabled. <laughs> okay. You 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 can click your. Uh, in the button, hello, maybe yeah. scroll up. I scroll up. You click a uh, hello. Nice. Oh, I feel like I've just been in a theater. Mm -hmm.
Do you want to go through this as this um, news? Yes, there we have a team that share with different startups, and uh, we we help we help the startups to to take uh, to express uh, their needs and also their solution. Okay. Oh my goodness, about fake news in the American dream. So yeah, but what about fake health data? I work uh, as a project manager for IT projects. Uh, I, I work uh, basically with the team, the team Future for Care, and uh, we have um, uh, another area that it's a project manager. Uh, this area help uh, the other startups to to grow and to to accelerate their their business. But I I work. Uh, Basically, with the with the, the the future for care project, and uh, to 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 get a new ideas, uh, new partnerships, and uh, maybe uh, new projects uh, in in the IT IT department. That is so nice. There are quite a few startups right here on Hyperledger meeting together just for fun, just to learn, just to meet people. Um, and sometimes just to uh, mm -hmm. help their own startups develop, you know, find developers or find code, uh, find a, a way to progress. We don't really look for um, investors here at Hyperledger, but we do have, I last, I heard was 40,000 open source coders who attend these meetings. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a great place to meet people like you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. And uh, also these uh, startups, uh, some uh, of uh, these startups also are present in the United States. And uh, maybe uh, the, the next year we, we will open a new building uh, in uh, Germany. Okay. Mapazo. So you have, this was, is this one um, healthcare um, startup that you have? Mapazo? Sorry? So is this one startup that you have? Yeah, yeah. Did you now uh, redesign health? No, is redesigning health a startup? No, it's uh, it's basically the same idea, but it's an accelerator in the United States, and basically the is the same idea, it's a global the same global idea that future for care, but it's located in the United States. No, I didn't know about it. Um, do you want to? Send a link into put a link into the chat for it, and I'll click on it. Okay. What is pitch book?
So she has an online medical directory and search platform designed to allow patients to find free medical and paramedical experts. Wow. Is this globally or just in France or just in Paris? I, I, I think it's globally. Hundred thousand users already. Hmm. You speak uh, French. Sorry, what? Do you speak uh, French? Un peu. I'm a français. Mm -hmm. Très. Toujours. Um, I don't know if anybody would be able to understand us on this. <laughs> if we were to uh, continue in French. How rare diseases. Okay, cool. Oh, what's back? Oh, podcasts. Do you did you put something in the in the chat? Should I go there? Or Sorry. I, did do you want me to um, continue going through this, or should I go through another one? No, if you want, I I can continue with the, with the same. Uh, this is so cool. This is her story and then her startup. Let's tell you all about her. Seventy percent of chronically ill patients hesitate to move with a fear of not having a real follow-up. Wow, that's a, a huge number. The Lin Wine Ma. Patients lie, 75% of patients lie or are refused bank loans because of their illnesses. Oh. Cap code, is that a healthcare company? Yes. Yes, they they uh, make uh, all the they get a lot of information of the, for example, um, uh, social uh, websites and uh, to know more about patients, the pain uh, the pain points uh, for patients and uh, to to get to get a. Uh, uh, a data that could uh, add a value for uh, for industries. Add value. Ah, okay. So who gets all the data? They get the data thanks to oh, it's public. social media, the patients association. Oh, what? 30% of French citizens acknowledge having already relayed fake news. OK. 
you see misinformation as a crisis communication topic, it's already too late. It's a virus. Persuasion, that's the problem. The emotional di dimension of persuasion is, is the problem. It's, it taxes the health. There you go. We have a health tax that's going on right now. People who put out fake news <laughs> are requiring people to pay for it by they go they go through this emotion of reacting to fake news. And then <laughs> that's they have to pay it's like paying. Wouldn't they rather pay money than paying with their health? Mm. So there you go. That's why this would work, because somebody would rather pay money than to and get real news than to pay with their health for fake for fake news. Okay. We yeah. don't know if it's real or not. <laughs> Is there a link to this? Um, I guess we have to just tap code. Oh, here it is. Oh, this is interesting. The experience shared by patients on social networks allows them to highlight their care pathways. A weak signal. This is sort of like a patient monitoring system. I'd like to know more about that. Do you know what a what weak signal, what, what are the units of um, measurement of a weak signal in this case? Weak How offline events can be predicted by the online detection of weak signals. A case study based on case study based on on it it's not working oh fill out the form oh so you have to download the white paper okay not very transparent so is there another one Find here the press release publish publication. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to share? Oh uh, no, for the moment. Maybe uh, you do. You, do you have something to to share? Oh, I don't have a company. Um, I'm just I'm working on a lot of different projects and, um. Jim Mason said that I was supposed to share something with the Hyperledger community coming up soon. So we'll see. I guess there's a, a we would go to the, um, go to the calendar for that. 
Founder, founder, founder. A research gate. What's on the calendar next? Do you see calendar? calendar? My calendar. It's not my calendar. Let's try. This is ongoing work. Okay, here we, we do have links to external resources. Um, where's the go to link? Hmm. That's interesting. So I'm supposedly Future for care, I see. So what I need to do is go over to this one and see if I calendar, 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 calendar. So I think what I'm going to do is start a new one. And we're going to look at the calendar of public meetings and see what's going on. June 23rd. So I see Monday, June 26th, we have the Hyperledger Healthcare SIG Payer subgroup meeting. And then on Tuesday, Climate, accounting, climate Action and Accounting SIG meeting. And because I'm working on a polluter payer healthcare, what about this public sector meeting? We're going to click on more details. So you should get an email about this. These are both Zoom meetings. Zoom Zoom links. Where's the public sector wiki page? Let's see if I can find this. Okay. This is fun. Found the wiki page. Meeting Zoom links and uh, calendar of public meetings. And uh, I want to find out what's coming up. Upcoming meetings, Fridays at 10 a.m. Past meetings, June 9th. Okay, here's what's coming up. A Hyperledger meetup, uh, June 9th. Whoops, that's past May 5th. Oh, we're going in the wrong direction. Ooh, go back, go back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a... Uh, um, um, Anything for the future? Upcoming meetings Fridays at 10 a.m. So I guess we have to go to this meeting on Fridays at 10 a.m. to find out. PSG mm -hmm. and blockchain. Go into that one. Okay, so Fridays at 10 a.m. back. Uh, Friday at 10 a.m. Is that 10 a.m. my time? I think yes. Um, well, let's go back to the... It isn't letting me copy. Oh, copy link text, link address. Two PM. 
it's it's 10 a.m. Eastern time, I think. Okay. 2 p.m. would be more like 7 a.m. my time, California. So 2 p.m. Um, British time. Okay, so that would be a great meeting to go to because they they have um, these meetup groups. Oh, pastime, thank you very much for your time. Let's go and see what's going on right now. Uh, we go back to Monday. Today happens to be the 21st, a Wednesday. So um, at 8 a.m., there is nothing going on. But at 9 a.m., there's Hyperledger Los Angeles building and scaling real something. Real what? A real enterprise consortium. I think that what is a real enterprise consortium? I, I think that um, that you might be interested in this because this is where it's, it's a group of uh, co companies or corporations get together to um, accomplish a goal in, in common. So this might be interesting for you happening in one hour from now. Would you like for me to put the link in the chat? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so what I, I'm going to- I know uh, also there are another yeah. event, I think is uh, 7 p.m. I don't know if you see that or- Okay, this is for um, the one that's on Friday. There's this one, paste, and this goes to 7 a.m. Then we go back over here to Okay, so this new link is the one for okay. Friday. Friday. So this other link up here is for who knows. <laughs> Error access tonight. <laughs> okay, that's a useless link. I uh, know it's fair. <laughs> no, I did it. I put it in there. Okay, this one worked work, though. And then this one. Oh, oh, yeah. So you know, you put that link in there. What was that for? I send you. I think you want to try again. Okay, so this one will work as well. Then redesign health. Uh, that it's another project uh, project in the United States. It's similar to Future for Care. All right. Okay. Oh, wow, that is so, so true. No single company. Yeah, and yeah, what we I, have... I don't know the, I don't know the project. Maybe, maybe you, you hear about that and that, I don't know. Okay. So did you put another link into the chat for um, this Amazon news, whatever this one's supposed to be? This is another event, but I don't know why this, uh, why is Amazon? Expires at two, it no. expired at seven no. this morning, expired already an hour ago, almost. The Universal Digital Payment Network launched to super regulate digital currency payment. Do you want to share your screen? Okay. Or put a different uh, link in the chat and I'll share it. Do you have to to stop your sharing? Okay, I just stopped it. So you go ahead. Um, can do that. Ah, okay.
It's about that. It's today at uh, 7 p.m. I see it now. Red date. Yeah, but see, 7, oh, 7 p.m.? Oh, <laughs> I see 7 and I'm thinking 7 a.m. Uh, it's true, eight, yeah. 7 a.m. Eastern time. That's 4 a.m. in California. You'll probably be able to catch the recording. Okay. Um, thank you very much for your attendance. It was a pleasure to meet you. And I hope to see you in an hour at the other meeting. Would you like for the, the chat to stay open can you, so you can get the link right now? Okay. Because when I click on that link, I'm going to exit this room and enter that room and wait for that meeting to start, if it will let me wait. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you very much. And uh, see you in the there are meeting. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.